In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the reliability and performance monitor to investigate the cause of a blue screen of death. Okay, so maybe you've been experiencing um, a blue screen of death or stop error, so the whole screen goes blue and um, you're presented with a lot of hexadecimal numbers and, and so on, and you have to restart. But your computer does restart, it goes back into Windows. Um, but um, but then you know maybe maybe once in a while it goes down again and you don't really know what the cause is. So um, this is a, a useful tool that might help you to to work out what's going on. So to get it going, I'm just typing P E R F into um, the search bar, and there it is highlighted at the top. And pressing Enter, and here it is. This um, this just kind of keeps track of of everything that's going on with your system. So I'm going to click on Reliability Monitor. And you get this chart of um, how stable your system's been. So this system hasn't really had any problems. So we're not seeing any any many of these red red crosses. Um, this just kind of tracks the stability. And then you can see events are marked here with these symbols. And then the date runs along the bottom. Um, so you need to think about when when events have taken place. Maybe when you've uh, done some updating or you've installed some software um, or you can just click on when the when the bad event occurred when the stop error occurred so you use this blue thing which is um, sort of selects the the time period so I'm going to select this one because um, it's got these these red splodges um, and then down here you get uh, all of the kind of events that have taken place of different types so software installs and uninstalls and it's got these just the list of everything that's been installed and uninstalled here um, so these are just updates um, application failures so something that's crashed so it'll tell you here the name of the application um, you know some kind of brief description of the failure type and when it happened um, hardware failures there aren't any here but if if there were then a description of the type of you know which hardware cause the problem whether it's your memory or your graphics card or you know whichever piece of hardware um, that would be listed here and it would give you some description of what happened windows failures that would appear here if you had a stop error a mis miscellaneous failures just any other kind of thing so so the key really if you have if you're experiencing these stop errors and you don't know what the cause is um, it's just useful to, to look back in this calendar and kind of do some detective work. So, you know, if, you, if you've got this hardware failure listed um, and coinciding with your, your stop error, then, that you know, there's your problem. Um, and, and the next steps that you could take are you could go onto the manufacturer's website and download a diagnostics tool to see, um, to see if, you know, to see if there's any kind of prospect of fixing it, perhaps. Um, um, or just to definitely confirm that that piece of hardware is the is the problem. Um, so you can get all kinds of kind of clues as to what which part of your system is breaking. You know whether it's an application that's at fault, or whether it's a piece of hardware, or whether it's a corrupt system file. Using using this, you can get those those kinds of clues. Um, so say that that that's if you know that's if Windows is going to start after your stop error. Um, if if it's not starting. Um, Here's what you can do to get your data off. Um, you can download a um, a, Win a Linux distribution called Puppy Linux, which is a small Linux distribution that will run off a CD, so it's an operating system. Um, and you can just download the um, the the file here and then use it to make a CD, which you will use to start the computer. So obviously, if your computer's not starting, you're going to need to use another computer to make the CD. Um, so what you need to do is you need to install ISO Recorder, which is on our disk, and that will enable you to deal with this kind of file. This is an ISO file, and that's an image of a CD. Download this file, um, and you can see when it starts, it's really user-friendly. It looks a lot like... like Windows and this will run just off the CD when you've made the CD so you just pop it in um, if you need to go into the BIOS so, so hit whatever key it says to hit to go into your BIOS and change the boot sequence the boot, boot priority so that the CD is at the top so that it will boot from the CD um, and then you will get into this puppy Linux and then you can use that to copy your files onto another hard disk um, just just to get your just to get your data off before you go about um, trying to reinstall Windows or whatever it is 
you need to do to fix your computer from the serious error. So once you've downloaded this ISO file, it's just going to pop up here. And I've already installed ISO Recorder, so it's recognized as an ISO file. And all you need to do to make the CD is just right click on it and choose copy image to CD because ISO Recorder doesn't appear um, so much as a separate program. It just adds these context menu items into into Windows so that suddenly Windows is able to handle ISO files when it wasn't before. Um, so you're just right clicking copy image to CD and that will make your, your puppy Linux CD. Um, and that's just a really easy way of getting your computer started, getting your 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 files off. And also, if 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 your computer was to go down whilst you were right in the middle of doing some work, um, it's quite likely that you know you can you can just use Puppy to finish off your work. You know, if you were just doing some word processing or something, um, it's it, it's just a, a simple little operating system that will just actually get your computer going when when Windows has failed you. So that's it. Those are the, the a couple of ways that you can you can help to sort things out um, when your computer has experienced a serious error.